In the summer of 1807, Napoleon Bonaparte must have felt on top of the world. Everything was going his way. However, it was at this time that a strange and peculiar event occurred. And so, this episode is going to explore this bizarre incident and then ask the question, what really happened to the Emperor that day? Now, there are a few versions of this event, some more exaggerated than others, but most accounts seem to agree on the following series of events. So, first a little backstory. In June 1807, Napoleon had won a major victory at the Battle of Friedland. This triumph forced the Russian Emperor Alexander I into a truce, resulting in the Treaty of Tilsit. To Napoleon, this treaty represented not just a high point in his career, but his dominance in mainland Europe. Pleased with the success of his campaigns, it was time to celebrate, and it was decided that these festivities would include a rabbit hunt. It fell to Chief of Staff Alexander Berthier to organise this venture. Eager to impress, Berthier spared no expense, as he set himself to the task. The sources differ on the actual number, but some claim he secured up to 3,000 rabbits for the hunt. Whatever the number, all agree it was an excessive amount. On the day of the hunt, the rabbit would be released in a field. However, things didn't go quite according to plan. The rabbits were released all at once, but instead of fleeing as they were supposed to, they headed straight for Napoleon and his men. At first, the hunters all laughed at the absurd sight of it all, but the bunnies didn't stop, and as the hordes came upon them, their laughter suddenly stopped. The hunting party attempted to ward off the swarm of furry critters with bull whips, hunting crops and sticks, but it was too late. They were surrounded. Realising that the bunnies had no intention of fleeing from them, the hunt was abandoned, but it didn't stop there. The rabbits had surrounded the carriage. They were everywhere. Napoleon had to wade his way through. Once inside, he gave the signal and the driver sped off. It was over. The rabbits had won. So, where did it all go wrong? It was Alexander Berthier who got the blame. And after all, he organised the hunt. He had made a number of mistakes in the planning. Rather than acquiring wild hares, he purchased domesticated rabbits. These bunnies had been hand-reared and hand-fed all their lives and had no fear of humans. On the contrary, they saw humans as a kind of food ticket. And, not content with the grass they stood on, they headed for the hunting party expecting their usual feed. On top of that, it is assumed, as they were to be hunted down, that Berthier had not bothered to feed such a great number of rabbits during their transportation. Being unaccustomed to missing meals, they may have been more hungry than usual. And of course, their excessive number only added to the chaos. So, what can we make of this story? Well, here's my take on it, and it is just that, so feel free to disagree. The rabbits come across more as wildebeest than bunnies, and in some accounts even worse than that. And I doubt that the hunters would have needed to defend themselves with whips, crops or sticks. I mean, they were just rabbits after all. That being said, if Berthier had obtained this absurd number of tamed rabbits, their fear of humans long gone, then they certainly wouldn't have behaved like wild hares and I am sure a number of them very well may have headed towards the hunting party, expecting some sort of handout. But on the whole, most probably just milled around the field without a care in the world. Either way, the whole point of stalking and hunting down your prey was lost. There was simply no sport in it. The hunt was abandoned, and this obscure incident was probably dramatised in its later telling. To conclude this episode, I would simply say this. If there is any truth to the story, I would agree that the blame rests firmly on Chief of Staff Alexander Berthier. And I would also argue that on this hunt, the rabbits were victorious that day, whether they understood it or not. Thank you for watching, and if you like my content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a great day.